Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for this new episode that is going to talk about self-care and how self-care is deeper than eating healthy and exercising. So of course, eating healthy and exercising is 100% part of self-care, of a healthy lifestyle, to maintain balance between the physical, the mental, the emotional aspects, etc. But what I mean by that is the emotional aspect can be overlooked sometimes and also the mental wellness. So, like I said, yes, eating healthy, like providing your body with the nutrients that are necessary to actually regenerate your system, strengthen your immune system, of course, that is very, very important. Food is medicine, right? I mean, healthy food, natural food, not junk food, obviously. Everything that grows naturally in nature. <laughs> you get my point. And exercising. Exercising doesn't necessarily mean lifting heavy weights or doing cardio like in an intense way. You can exercise gently as well. You can go for a walk. That's personally my favorite way of exercising. Stretching, doing gentle stretch. Or, you know, when you clean your house, you just put some music on and you just dance as you vacuum, for example. It's still a form of exercise. You're moving your body. You are bringing some fresh oxygen. Your heart is beating faster, etc. But what I talk about here is emotional wellness. What is creating heavy emotions within you? Which events of your past haven't been dealt with yet? What is it that you need to evacuate from your system to release and let out? Because emotions are not toxic. Emotions in themselves are part of the human package, part of the human nature. That's what we, we come here to experience, okay? And the mental aspect, mental health, it's okay to have negative thoughts, but there is a key, and th this is really a key element, is not to let these rule your life. If you can imagine the worst case scenario, you owe it to yourself to imagine the best case scenario as well. So taking time for self-care Sometimes it's just withdrawing and processing, journaling, staying with yourself, or listening to music. But here again, listening to music without abusing yourself, for example. If you help yourself release stuck emotions with music, with a song, for example, that makes you feel a little bit sad or emotional, go ahead. But also know when to stop, when it becomes like self-abuse. You are really forcing yourself to maybe like a punishment or because you, you feel so numb inside, you're trying to feel alive by listening to music and having these emotions come out of you. And this, when you do this too much, you cultivate these negative energies and this is acting against yourself. So yes, in a sense, you are releasing emotions, but you are staying in that cycle. It's like you, you have a washing machine, you put clothes in, and then it's finished. Your laundry is clean, but you press start again for a second cycle. That is not necessary. And this is a part of self-abuse. So it's really knowing the difference within yourself between what you need to do for yourself, for your highest good, and what you are forcing yourself to do, either to please others or to hurt yourself. And I've been there. That used to be me. And this is toxic. This is not leading you anywhere. This is harmful. This is self-abuse. And everything is energy. So what you, the, the way you are treating yourself is also the way you give permission to others to treat you. Because everything is energy. We are all energy readers. So it's like an energy imprint within you. With the law of resonance. That's what you create more of. And subconsciously. Because obviously you're not doing it on purpose. 
but that's just how energy works. So I just wanted to talk about this self-care, treating yourself with compassion is very important and setting healthy boundaries with yourself is also important and that will help you determine the way how other people treat you as well. So that's what I wanted to share for today and if you need help to process emotions, to go through things like you feel you have reached a plateau, you feel stuck, you feel stagnant, feel free to reach out to me. We will work on uncovering the blocks and actually heal them from the root cause so that you can reach your next level in your business and also in your life because your business is an extension of your life. It's an extension of you, right? So the more you become magnetic, the more you can create things that are aligned with you according to your values as a human being, as a business owner, as a mom if you have children, as a wife or as a husband or a partner. And this is really, really important. And give yourself some grace as well. So if you need someone to help you from a place of empowerment, because you take responsibility and you're ready to go to this next level, then let's work together. So you can visit my website. I will put the link in the description of this podcast. And I'm also inviting you to check the free section of my website and grab as much info as you will want. Thank you very much for listening. And I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.